morning friends, this is the Mrs. Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead. I'm going to make our um, baskets again, <clears throat> only this time I'm not using an egg in the basket. I'm also using dehydrated potatoes because I just want to see how well that will work. And all I did was put some high Angus in the bottom of this bowl and poured some boiling water in and then drained them once they rehydrated. It's that simple. But today I'm not putting an egg in here because uh, I didn't like the way it's stuck to the muffin tins. So I'm just going to add a couple of tablespoons of sunflower oil and a couple of tablespoons of my potato starch because that will help bind it together. There we go. And of course, some salt, not too much because I'm going to be using bacon and bacon is salty. You can probably hear it sizzling in the background. And I'm with the bacon, I'm sauteing some um, onion. All right, so salt, pepper, potato starch, and a bit of sunflower oil is all we're putting in this mix today. And I may actually add just a bit more potato starch just and there we go. Be sure if you want to see how I make the potato starch, click the box here that says um, that it will open a new window and take you to how to make my potato starch video or the video on how to make my potato starch. All right. So let's go ahead and make our baskets. It's still quite early. It's eight o'clock on Easter Sunday morning here. No, Angus, you can't have any. Make sure the bottom, for this one's especially, make sure that your bottom is full. And I don't mean full as in thick, I mean that there's not really any holes because we're going to be cracking a whole egg into each one of these. Okay, we're going to pop these into a 375 degree oven for about 20 minutes. Alrighty folks, here is our um, potato baskets fresh out of the oven and now we have uh, some crumbled bacon sauteed with onions, we have some cheddar cheese, we have some eggs and for extra zing I have some tomato powder. You don't have to add that but I figured it would be nice. So I'm just going to put a bit of bacon and onion, and I mean just a bit, because we, we may want to even put some on top, but a bit of bake, just a wee bit of bacon and onion in the bottom of each cup. I'm just going to just add a little sprinkle, just like a quarter teaspoon of the tomato powder. All right, keep your fingers crossed that the egg will fit in here, folks. If not, it's going to be a very messy breakfast. I think I should have had smaller eggs. And there's one. All right, we'll see you guys at the breakfast table. Would you look at these? Lovely. Here goes nothing. Oh my goodness. Yay! All right, Daddy. It's time to try your Easter egg breakfast baskets. Very good. All right. And happy Easter to everybody. 
This is the Mrs. Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead saying, you don't need chocolate eggs in a plastic basket. You can have real eggs in a potato basket. Bye-bye. Thank you.